I think everyone in Tesla Nation can breathe a big sigh of relief. Elon did a great job on Saturday Night Live on Saturday night. As good as could be expected, and I would argue even better. Here's Elon working in the famous Studio 8H in a writer's meeting, getting ready for the show. And let's go through the skits real quick. So there was the opening monologue where Elon said that he's the first host of SNL, and there have been hundreds, to have Asperger's. And this is the first time that I can recall that Elon has actually talked about this. I mean, especially publicly. And what a big stage to do it on. I yeah. mean, you're literally Saturday Night Live, like a huge live event. He could have brought this up at like a tiny little rocket conference. He could have brought this up at some kind of, you know, EV event. Instead, he brings it up on Saturday Night Live, which I think, you know, he kind of has to do because... As he mentioned, you know, he kind of talks a little funny and people might not understand why he talks like that. Maybe he's not being sincere. He explained, that's just the way my brain works. I think that that was a really big thing for him to do. It's it's really inspiring, I think, for people who uh, have Asperger's. Yeah, I mean, 37 million people are estimated to have it around the world. That's 0.5 percent of the population. It's right. not a small number. Um, and that's just the people who are pretty much diagnosed, uh, many people go undiagnosed. And I think that immediately warmed up the audience to him by, you know, showing that he's human. And I mean, yeah, he was self-deprecating, but he also talked about his dreams for sustainable energy and life on Mars and, and being a multiplanetary species. I think that that was really important, too, to kind of um, have a little bit of sincerity in his opening monologue. Not a lot of monologues are that sincere yeah. on SNL. Usually, you know, this person is an actor and they know how to tell a bunch of jokes. And so and they plug their latest movie. Right. And it's like, and you're going to want to see me in the next <laughs> Avengers film. Oh, <laughs> one. It's usually hilarious, but I think that it was it was really nice that he was able to be a little bit more sincere, talk about some things that were important to him. Yeah, then Elon brought out his mom, Mae Musk, to join him for a funny, awkward, but heartwarming Mother's Day moment where he talked about himself as a kid and he promised his mom a Mother's Day gift of, wait for it, Dogecoin. So after the opening monologue, we got a Lucid Air commercial and a Ford Mach-E commercial. We're going to talk about that more in a minute. Uh, but then we got the Gen Z hospital where Elon played a doctor that spoke Gen Z. And I think that he did a pretty good job yeah. uh, on, on this skit. I mean, it seemed like he hit all of his lines. Uh, the timing didn't have to be perfect because they're all speaking, <laughs> you know, Gen Z. And we're all oh, lit, fam. You capping with me right now? You capping. He was not capping. <laughs> then there was the post-quarantine conversation sketch where Elon played a convincing nerdy guy at party. Yep. Then we got a VW ID4 commercial. Again, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, then Elon played the producer in love with his cousin, who's the host of an Icelandic TV show called The Uli Show. A lot of cousin jokes in this episode of <laughs> SNL. A lot. Like, I think there were three skits with it in there. Weird. <laughs> Way too much. Elon made a brief appearance as the creepy guilty priest on Murder Durder. Murder Durder. Then he played Lloyd Ostertag, the cryptocurrency expert on the SNL news desk, where they kept asking him, but what is Dogecoin? And he finally had to admit that basically it was like a hustle. Right. Um, but he said that it was uh, to the moon. Dogecoin was rallying before SNL. It dropped about 10% during SNL. Interesting. During the course of about, uh, you know, a couple hours. But I mean, let's just think about it. He pitched it during the monologue and he pitched it during the news. It's Dogecoin. <laughs> it's going to do whatever it wants to do. And it's been going down ever since. I think that it's, you know, I, I'm maybe not Maybe it was pre-hype. I mean, maybe it was the fact that he tweeted out a lot of stuff about Dogecoin, like uh, the Doge father. Right. And I mean, Lloyd Ostertag said that he was the Doge father, but it was like, one line, right, and that was it. Um, I feel like maybe Elon wanted to do a little bit more, but they were like, "No, let's make you not answer the question." It was weird. I think he's playing. I think this whole Dogecoin thing is a joke to him, and I think that it uh, started as a joke, and it, it's still it, a joke. It's still a joke. I don't right. want. I mean, no. You know. I mean, it's not what we should base the world's currency <laughs> on. Uh, Elon went on to play Wario, the evil Mario, in the courtroom sketch that didn't really go anywhere, but we did get to see Grimes play Princess Peach. And I think that she did a fantastic job. Uh, she really got the whole, like, <laughs> Nintendo fans, I'm sure that was exciting. Then we actually ended kind of strong, I think, for SNL, because usually SNL dies after the news. Uh, but we got two more good 
I thought pieces. We got Elon playing himself in the SpaceX headquarters as Pete Davidson as Brad on Mars has to save the new colony. Um, and I was kind of hoping uh, for about 10 seconds there that Pete was going to bust into a rap song, but it didn't go there. And I was, I was like, oh, it would have been awesome. I still think that it was really funny. It was nice to have like a, a light sketch about Mars. Usually everyone's so serious about like, you're going to have to go out into the radiation. And But isn't that what he did? In like movies and stuff. Yeah, but it, it was nice oh, yeah. to kind of uh, take the sting off of it because he's just like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, we got the Western Saloon Pearl River Gang sketch where Elon played Leron, a version of himself just set back in the 1800s. And he kind of admitted in a funny way through the skit that he was wrong about masks early in the pandemic, which I thought was kind of interesting that they brought that human aspect in as well. Um, and he even got to bring up boring tunnels. Yeah. We're going to bore under the gang and sneak up behind him. Yeah. I, I feel like Elon accomplished everything that he could have hoped for with his appearance on SNL. He was funny. He was self-deprecating. Um, he was wearing all sorts of silly and funny costumes that they put him in. And I think that he was endearing by sharing something that he had never publicly shared before. I just think that a lot of, uh, you know news writers were ready to dig into him for mm -hmm. being weird and like oh weird he's weird because he's a billionaire yeah. oh he's so weird it's because he has a lot of money and it's like that's really not the reason he's always kind of been that way yeah no he skirted the whole richest man in the world thing i mean he got to hype dogecoin which he wanted to do he shared his vision about a sustainable future for the planet his dreams for mars he even brought in the self-driving horses as a little joke mm -hmm. there uh, most of all it was just fun to see him having a great time yeah and i mean i don't think there was too much to lose here i mean Tesla's doing fantastically, um, and it was great to have him on Saturday Night Live. I think that that's going to kickstart a lot of conversations, maybe but, even with you people. But, you know, a funny thing was, aside from the brief photo of a horse being supercharged, uh, there was no mention of Tesla. And, I mean, that's kind of weird to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, if there was one piece that I would have loved to have seen, it would have been the Cybertruck uh, worked into some kind of skit. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Mondays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below to head over to the Now You Know channel.